Hi everyone, this is Ella of the Always Scribbles. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for checking in. Um, today, as you can see the title, that's why you click on it. Um, I'm going to teach you how to digitize your work using Canva and not other apps. So a lot of people are using Procreate and Photoshop to digitize their work. Actually, it's very helpful to, to, to use these things because from that um application you just draw or write and then you can um upload it to your social media to the internet whichever you want to use it or also download it and edit it through the app now um for those who know me i am not the techiest techiest there's such a term but i'm not the most techie person in the room so what i do is i digitize my work manually when i say manually I draw and do my work on paper and then transfer it on the computer with the help of an app called Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, please do check it out and download it because that is very useful for you. But I guess Canva is very popular nowadays, so a lot of you already know how to use Canva. But for those who are not familiar and who wants to uh, know the, the story or the secret it's not really a secret, but how I digitize my work, like those you can see in my Facebook or Instagram page, this is how I do it. So if you're interested, please uh, watch the whole video and let's get started. So here I'm starting off with our um, written design. I have here a just a notebook. You can use a plain white paper or any white paper. I think I've never tried writing it in a colored paper. I don't know if that would do. But in this case, if the paper that you are using have this lines, I don't think um, it will matter because I've tried that. So I also did that with um, dotted paper and this line paper. So I think it will work with papers with lines. So one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Psalm 37, 4. That's delight thyself in the Lord and he shall give the desires of thy thine heart. So I decided to use the, it for today's um, video, for today's sample. So to start, we open Canva. I already downloaded Canva here. I have Canva in my uh, phone and also my computer. So here I type Instagram because we're looking for Instagram template. Um, whichever social media app you have, like Facebook, they also have that. So you just, uh, it's also good for YouTube thumbnail. So if you want help with your YouTube th thumbnail, Canva can help that, can help you with it. And so here, um, let's just choose any template that is given. So I'm going to choose this one. Let's try to customize this. And uh, once it opens, there are pre-made uh, designs. So you just delete that because we will replace it with what we have written. So I think that's good. It's kind of big because I use Canva. I mean, I use Instagram portrait, so it's pretty long. So click upload and then find the photo that you uploaded. I actually pre-uploaded the photo, but it's easy. You just click that um, upload file and then you find it from your file. So here I have it here, the one that we did. So I will make it bigger so it will fit the design. So that's very easy to navigate. You just pull the sides. And then from there, once it is settled, you go to um, edit image on top. I'm going to lost. All right, I'm kind of lost here. So there, click that part. Uh, before we remove the background, let's go to change the uh, saturation and uh, 
contrast so I put it up here about 40 plus and also for the saturation this part here is it okay okay so it will your writing or your drawing will pop up and then we go back to this you have background remover let's remove the background and that's the magic happening right there Ta da isn't there pretty okay and so then um because it's looking plain so i think i'm gonna change the the background not like this color let's i think we can tweak it a bit maybe i'm just gonna yeah, you just click that one and then change background i guess so let's find the design All right, I think I'm going to type here. So I think that will do, and I think this one is okay. So you just drag it, and then it's going to change the whole thing. It's pretty neat, right? So, and then, so I think that's looking good. Just going to adjust this a little bit. And I think I need to add uh, where I got this first course you have to give credits um, because I didn't make it up myself so I don't have to write always scribbles there I probably have to write the Bible verse where I got that so I'm gonna click text here and then choose a small heading and then just drag it here Think it's better it I put it here yeah. lower okay and then just gonna type Psalm 37 verse 4 and then because I don't like the the text font so I'm gonna change font here just choose so I can access the pro because I'm paying for the pro version of that it's pretty cheap actually so if you're using this for for business or for you know just for work it is very affordable okay so I think that will do they're actually different fonts so it's really good that they have a lot of variety, so there's a wide range of font to choose from. And then I want to put my logo here, um, just for, you know, give credit to myself. <laughs> Actually, it's for security reasons whichever if it's needed so if you can see here there are a lot of uploads because i've been using canva ever since i started this um, youtube channel and also started my mini arts and crafts hobby like that so i also made a logo using the same app canva and i think this one so i'm just gonna place it here let's find a good place for that how about hiding it here no and then for for it to look like a watermark we decrease the transparency but i think i should put it mm, maybe on the other side let me check i want to play with the colors of the paper it's too bright because the logo is kind of covered so i think i'm gonna play and check anyway we can go back if you want if you're not if you kind of regret what you did to your design there's always a back button there's always an undo button that's next to there the blue part above so you have file and then you can see two arrows there so the arrow um there's an undo arrow there, so you can always click. So I think this will do. Uh, I like 
for earth colors so yes, i mean put it here maybe so i can see the logo um, it's vivid but it's kind of a watermark because we decrease the transparency and i think that's it so i'm just gonna have to uh, click the download button as you can see there's share there you just have to click it okay so i'm gonna show you another one another version if you are using um, facebook so we can type facebook here wait let me save this one first and then it will be saved to your download so you just find it there i didn't change the file name but you can always do that just for easy um, tracking of your file all right so let's find another here I, I am trying the resize um, function so I'm changing it to Facebook if you are not using pro canva pro you cannot have this um, access so it would be better to um, subscribe to a canva pro account so here as you see it got bigger because of course facebook is a bit bigger than instagram so it's the same design i'm just gonna keep it i think i like how it's it looks like um okay i think and then i'm just gonna download that same thing you go to share download and it will automatically be saved to your download folder So that is the whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this or anything related to art and something you just want to feed your soul with inspiring thoughts and verses and words and put them into writing and art, you can subscribe to this channel or like this, um, like my social media pages or like this video. I um, thank you so much. God bless you, everybody.